Okay, welcome to London's Craziest Gangsters. Now, the next subject I'm going to touch on is there are a load of people languishing in jails, in British jails, who are serving an abolished indeterminate public protection sentence order, no, order normally labelled as IPP. Now, when you receive this sentence, you have to... Right, you've got to do your courses, yeah? You must do, must do your courses. If you don't do your psychology courses... You ain't what courses you have to do, right? I had to do ETS, oh, yeah. I had to do CALM, and I nearly had to do CSCP. Oh, wait, that's the one. That's the one, mate. Right, right. 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 Connective right. Right. Soul, <laughs> connective, <laughs> connective soul training right. program. You ain't right. getting out, bitch. Mate. <laughs> you ain't getting out, mate. My, listen, I had a good probation officer. Yeah, go on. Did you, right? Yeah, she was... Listen, I had a girl called Christine Lavoe yeah, at the time, yeah? And she said to me, no way... The second time up, you're not going to get out, yeah? Okay. What happened? I didn't get out. Because I had a police officer <laughs> against me, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, like Against me, you've got no chance of getting out, you know? Well, right, okay. And let me before we... We're talking about the categorisation. Yeah. Oh, let, hang on, hold it. Let me, let me explain. Okay. IPP, Independent Public Protection Order. Order. I'm going to knock him spark out in a minute. I swear that ain't getting... IPP. Off. You know why he got an IPP? You know why? You know why he got an IPP? He was a smack. All right, we're there. 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 I'll have to go back and do calm. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so what it is with the IPP sentence, yeah? The IPP sentence was brought in by David Blunkett and the Labour company. Yeah, for sure. Because they believed that too many people were going to prison, leaving prison, committing crimes and coming back to prison. And so they brought in the indeterminate public protection sentence. For people like money. Fish and people like myself. Not, yeah. not people like me. Mate, mate, I've only been nicked three times, so it weren't for me. It weren't for me. As the, I know, what I know re about? The yeah, reason... No. I got my IPP is because I got nicked with the police gun out of the police army. That was yeah. the reason I got my IPP. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Not because I dressed as a woman and thought I looked like Naomi Campbell and robbed the fucking yeah. town hall. No way you look like Naomi <laughs> Campbell. <laughs> well, I did. But still, no way. No way you look like Naomi. He showed me a picture earlier on, yeah? He showed me a picture earlier on, yeah? He went, that was me when I had makeup on. I said, fish, if that was you and you had makeup on, mate, I'd be a fucking guy. Yeah. You know? Just like he looks like Nobby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, don't you? Fuck you know. Or big ears. Yeah. <laughs> You can't. How did that I'm come into it? Go on, it. Swear. Oh, so I apologise. Don't swear, Pat. So, anyway, we decided to be, we're quite lucky because we, we, I don't know how. <laughs> well, we've done what we had to do. Fish. Well, we've done what we had to do, Fish. <laughs> do you know what? Let me tell you something about the IPPs, yeah? The IPP can change you from one fucking nasty person, yeah? To not so nasty person because you know. That if you ain't gonna do what they want you to do, you ain't gonna get out. And it frightening, it's frightening. Believe me, it's so frightening, yeah. That you want there's things you want to do in prison, yeah. There's people that want to fucking wind you up. People that do this, people, and you can't, you can't go into them. You I, can't. I, 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 he I, did. He <laughs> let me tell you something, yeah. Listen, let me tell you what happened to him. Yeah? <laughs> I was in a unit, yeah. I was in a unit in Maston, <laughs> in the Mount. Sorry, in the Mount, yeah. I was in a unit in the Mount. <laughs> Right, oh. to go there, it's fucking hard work. If you go there, you're on your way out, yeah? You don't bang up, you don't bang up. You eat, it's just oh. a completely different fucking prison to the Mount Prison. It's still the Mount, but it's different. When they told me I could go there, I was oh. fucking so excited, mate. I thought, well, I'm on my way out, yeah? A nice cell, working my bollocks off, in the gym, Jim all Lee. Loved it, yeah? All of a sudden, he's an old boy, yeah? He's, 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 he's no, a Muslim. He's I a, don't nah, know. I he's don't a, know. He's a Muslim. He's a Muslim, yeah? Nice fella. Well, not so nice, but anyway, had plenty of money. Might be in there, yeah? Got done for all sorts of things, like fucking uh, money laundering. Lots of money, right? Fish looked after him in Wandsworth, yeah? For quite some time, yeah? Made yeah, sure... He trying to rob him. Yeah, made sure that he got no trouble. Because Fish is not a cunt. Fish can have it, yeah? He can really have it. I don't and know about people, that. listen, people know that he can have it. Don't worry about that. So when people see fish, see fish mining him, they know that he's fucking going to be looked after, yeah? Anyway, he winds up coming to the mount, right? <laughs> I've seen him quite a few times. I'm talking to him. All of a sudden, he's got to me. Yeah, I used to like, uh, fish used to look after me this, that, and the other bit. 
fish is this, a fish is that, and this, that, and you know, anyway. <laughs> so I'm in this fucking unit now, yeah? He comes downstairs to see me, the old boy, and he was talking to me, yeah, fish is this. Don't forget, fish is my mate. Yeah. He's telling me all the stuff. Yeah. He, he, he's talking to me all about fish, yeah? So I'm going, oh, I was a bit out of order. Fish yeah. Talk to you, this, that, and you know, he's out of order, yeah? And what happened? <laughs> Knock on the door. Who is it? Fish. Oh, what? Anyway. <laughs> Do you know, so he's talking about him. I'm going, yeah, he, he don't reckon you too much fish. He don't, this, that, and the other. Yeah. What, what's he do? Runs upstairs. <laughs> don't get it. It's only his wing. It ain't his wing. He ain't even on it. I never run upstairs. He, he went upstairs, yeah? So anyway, I went up because I see the fella, yeah? So I got the ump now because he's gone to Ray and told Ray that I said something about I should have, I should have yeah. zipped it up. So anyway, oh. you look like Zippy anyway. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. crash out of your father. All I'm, all I'm asking this guy is, why did you say to Ray what I said, yeah? So now he's going, I, mean, I, I, I don't want to talk now, I don't want to talk now. So well, I'm trying to go, look, why would you say that to Ray? Why, yeah? So then Chris has your father. We get upstairs into, it was on the day England was versus Germany. And he's sitting there. And what he done, because I'm a faggot and a puff, He's uh, sitting game. there with about no, 20 Muslims. No, no, that don't bother me. 20, it, no, no, he's sitting there. It doesn't sitting. matter okay. whether okay. he was sitting with anybody, 20 okay. of anything. Okay. Whether they were Muslims, 20 black, white, it doesn't matter. Okay. What matters is, what about he, 20 of me? he fought. What about 20 of me? 20 of me, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> go on. Go on. Why one. always got a bang? One. 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 <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, crash. Now, you even think when you're gay and all that, people always think you're kind of a tear, yeah, people yeah. think you've got an old, yeah. F fuck off from, oh, don't swear. Exactly. Make F off from me, you yeah, know, come yeah, exactly. on, mate. Exactly. Yeah, just because we're faggots. Just because you can have it, mate. It's so anyway, you can't it, have it. Yeah. Oh, no, they call me Super Mug. Super yeah. Mug! Yeah, go on. Show them the mug. Where's the mug? Show them the mug. Show them the mug. Where's the mug? Show them the mug. Get the mug. Go on. Yeah. Pull up, then. This is Super Mug. Look. I got a master shot in on. Yep, master. Yep. London's craziest gangster. Face mask. Just in case we go on another robbery. Fuck off. Right. Go <laughs> on. Don't swear. Sorry. And they call me Super Mug. I've had a new mug done. There you go. The great tranny one, which is We're what supposed I've got. to be talking about the IPPs here, which by is, the way. Which is what? <laughs> by the way, by the way, which you is, want to get the number here, isn't it? Which is what? How about my picture <laughs> behind me? Does anyone buy one? Does anyone want to buy a picture? <laughs> we won't shout to you, you tempt me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what we're saying is, so anyway, I went to this guy and I'm asking, but what he'd done, he looked at me and went like this and smiled. And I thought, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, you're taking a picture. So I've gone, crash! Fuck his jaw, fetch his nose. No, 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 no. And now this punch, yeah. I've got to tell you about this punch, because this punch came from, from Acton. O o o <laughs> from from Acton. From, 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 from West London, it, it, it came from Europe. Yeah. And it came through Holland, through France. It was heavy and as it, as it got through customs, it had nothing to declare. And he just went crash. Crash, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, crash, glad. Broken jaw, fetch his No, I don't know about that. Yeah, I Man, know about that. Yeah, go on. And so crash out as your father. Now it's my turn. Listen, all of a sudden I'm in my cell, <laughs> yeah? I can hear the alarm bell going. Oh, what's fucking going here? <laughs> Who comes down to my cell? <laughs> fish. I've just fucking hit that guy. Oh, fish. Why, mate? Why? Now the conspiracy's in it, yeah? The conspiracy's there. That I have enticed him <laughs> to go upstairs <laughs> and bash I him up. I never said I am. Yeah, yeah, listen, right, all of a sudden, he's gone. All of a sudden, <laughs> nah, down listen, the block. Along the fucking passageway, 10, 15 Muslims come to my cell, yeah? <laughs> right, what the fuck's going on? You're, you're the one who fucking enticed him to go upstairs. But what was his name, Fish? Ah, uh, oh, fucking. Anyway, you're the, one who, you're the one who enticed him to go upstairs and bash him up. Well, it's fucking nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. I don't know nothing about it. You know, next thing I know, he comes, fishes come down here in front of me, sorting it, and fucks off, yeah? And the yeah. alarm bell got Anyway, so what's happened? They said, well, he looks like he's broke his fucking jaw <laughs> and fractured his nose. You're in trouble, mate. I went, fuck off. Anyway, <laughs> he fucked off. Next thing you know, screws. Loads of screws come in. <laughs> Any your fucking nick, slam my door. <laughs> what have I fucking done? Right? What have I done? Anyway. 
all of a sudden, <laughs> out the door, block, down the block, in down the block, yes? What's up, Ray? <laughs> what do you mean, what's up, fucking Ray, you cunt? You killed him! You broke his jaw cracks, he's done! It's a conspiracy! <laughs> anyway, I was supposed to be up, I was supposed to be up on another fucking, up, up on another IPP, yeah? <laughs> Want to be released, yeah? What happens? <laughs> Two and a half years, not back. So what's down to him? So anyway, Two and a half years, not back. So anyway, I'm in the block, yeah? And I've been there for three months, you know, segregation. And I'm training every day. Uh, Dan Crow, how are you, son? And uh, we're training all the time. And then, uh, crash. There were like this wanted posters all around the neck for me, the prison. And so I come out after three months, the police have been dropped, dropped the investigation. And I say to Governor Duncan, well, yeah. Go down and look, mate. Why am I still down here? And Governor Duncan said, look, Fish, I've got it on good uh, intelligence that if I put you back on a normal location, you will jeopardise the safety and the security of the wing. True. So I said to Mr. Duncan, can you give me two minutes with a pen and paper, please? He said, yeah, go on, mate. I mean, he was Mr. Duncan, fair play and a good man. And so I went back and I wrote blah, 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 blah. And I, I went back to the adjudication, which is like the courtroom for when you get nicked when you're inside prison. And I gave him the uh, bit of paper. And the chief officer went, oh, that's not very nice, is it, Fish? That, that Come on, Fish. And what the bit of paper said is, I've got it on good intelligence that Dubna Duncan is giving out mobile phones, eskacy and drugs to the prisoners. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. And... and so that was two, that was Friday, and I was shipped out. Shipped out means moved to another prison on, on Tuesday, with a note in my file said, "Mr. Brown said some things about me, but I don't think they were true. He just wanted to be moved." Exactly. But what I was trying to sell, Mr. Duncan, is I can give you all the intelligence you want. You don't need to carry exactly, out. exactly. You know, you know, these are the games they play with you. Right. Let's go back to the IPP thing, please. Thank you. Well, 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 so so the problem, the reason we're highlighting this, and it's, it's funny, it's, we're laughing and joking, but there are now you people, you have to realize there are people that have received a 23 day IPP sentence and they're still done 16 years, or it's just 16 years, 15 years. And the reason we're highlighting this parent prop crime, because you know, we've seen people doing petitions out there and trying to get them out. But I've noticed since I've been, uh, I went on the internet and done YouTube, there's not really much going on really for IPP. So we're now going to try and take it up on board. We're going to try and get it categorised, yeah? Right. Well, I think what the first thing is, well, we need to bring it to the public attention. Yeah. I think the first thing you need to understand, <sighs> IPPs need, the, the, the government need to recategorise IPPs under the old categorization system. That way, yeah. They can still Meaning what you're saying, the old categories mean you should get double A cats, yeah? Yeah. You should get A cats, B cats, C cats, D cats was the lowest, yeah? So double A cats the highest. This is what you're talking about. So with that categorization, you knew who was dangerous and who was not. Now, with the term offender, because that's what we're all called under the IEP. The problem is, My people. You, other than other, you have rapists, paedophile, pedophile, pedophile, you've got uh, violent offenders, domestic violent offenders, you've got all the evil ones, you know, and you've got, you know, but we're not, but we're all under one umbrella. So when you try and petition the IPP, many members of the public, they don't really want, they just turn aside with look, because they don't want to hear, because they think that when you're talking about the IPP, you want to... Uh, get out um, prisoners like John Warboys, who was the taxi driver that used to rape all the women. Or they used to think you're the man up in uh, up north who set his house alight with all his children in. And, and that's the problem with the IPP. Because you can't separate... Well, I can't... Uh, explain to me something, Fish, right? All right, explain. Explain this to me, right? I was in court, yeah? Yeah. And the guy, the guy was in the same cell as me, right? Yeah. He went up. And got an IPP. Yeah. For what was it for? It was for taking a mobile phone. Okay. Right? Oh, oh yeah, 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 I saw that one. Yeah. He was he was a perpetual mobile phone thief. Yeah. That's all we done. Mm -hmm. Nick mobile phones. He nicked a mobile phone of a woman. Mm -hmm. 
run down the road, turn around to see who's following. What did he do? Bumps into an old woman. Broke her collarbone, fractured her fucking jaw, yeah? Yeah. Went to court and got an IPP. He hadn't killed no one. He didn't mean to he didn't mean to hit that woman, yeah? Right? Two cells from him were two guys who stabbed someone ten times, yeah? What did they get? One got a seven and one got a nine. Okay. Not IPPs. How does that work? Okay, okay. Explain that to the people, okay. please. Okay. If you can. Right. You know, the problem with the IPP sentence is when you are given, when you are first given an IPP sentence, what happens is the judge is giving you this IPP sentence because he's saying... But it's done through probation, isn't it? it yeah, more, yeah. The judge is giving you an IPP sentence because... The probation, because the no, because the crime you have committed doesn't warrant a life sentence, okay? But the headache with the IPP set and receiving it is he asked for a pre-sentence report. And the headache with the pre-sentence report is the fact that probation do the pre-sentence report. So really it's a bit like insider dealing on the probation's behalf because probation... Not only are they recommending that you do get them, but they're also in charge of the IPP. So it keeps them in a job for the rest of their lives, if you think about it properly. So what a great deal. We sign everybody into IPP for anything and everything. And then, bosh, that means we will keep them in jobs. Yeah, but how come, how come someone gets a seven and a half? Oh, oh. Which I'm going to explain. So the problem is, when IPP sentence came out, 99 years came they had put no... How many years? Sorry? How many years? 99 years. They had never put any thought. They had no one had thought about, you know, there was never real planning that had gone through it. Or no one had thought about the outcomes. And no one had thought about how long it would take to get prisoners on courses. No one thought about how long it would take you to get through that different prisoners would have different courses. No one thought about any of this. And so what happened is, and also... They started giving out IPPs with any for no reason. Do you know what? To be honest, if I look at it properly, if you wanted to go into political, and this is, you know, a political, isn't it? you could say that it was an attempt by the government to get rid of the working class because you put over so many dads, 10,000, thousands, thousands of dads into prison, and then you look, yeah, with, with no, no release date. Now, you remember me and him got out because we played the game. I mean, well, I mean, I... Play, he played the game. I mean, I don't know what he... He, did. he played the game. But um, we got out. We done the courses. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, with me, it was a bit different because with me, you know, you know, I knew I had the police gun hanging over me. And so for me, it was... Uh, I knew, you know, they're going to be listening to my phone calls and letters and everything else. So for me, I had to... I, I, I never used a phone except once or twice in the, so, whole so, ten, ten, yeah, so. in the whole ten and a half years while I was in prison. You had but, no fucking money to fucking phone anybody. <laughs> you had no money. No, he had no money to phone no one. To say that. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no friends. He ain't got no friends either. I have hey, no. Why are you? Why, why are you always doing this to me? Why are you always making me look you bad in front of your friends? Why? <laughs> Oh dear. He's, he's out of work. Oh, what? Well, yeah. I know I call myself Super Mug, but no need for him to keep no, mugging me off. Anyway, so crash. Um, so for me, in a, in a, when they kept, not, when you go, you know, as an IPP, you get a, you have to go to a, what's it called? Um, what? A parole one. A parole, parole hearing. Yeah, hearing yeah, You've got to go to sure. a parole hearing every, every Two year. Two and a half years. No, every year. Two and a half years? Every year. Well, I fucking didn't. Yeah, because you're years. fucking backwards, ain't you? Oh, yeah. Every year, yeah. I, yeah. Not yeah. surprised you're as ugly as that. It's Shrek. Yeah, yeah. Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so every year you get a parole here. Not two and a half years, every year. Two and, and a half years, uh, mate. And what happened, um, but I knew when I was going to two the parole here. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> if you heard, if you heard the beginning. Oh, yeah. The yeah. <laughs> Uh, go on. So listen, yeah. <laughs> don't want a cup of tea. So fuck off. Oh, fuck. Do you want a cup of tea, mate? I'll swear. Apologise. 
apologise. So that. anyway, yeah. <laughs> inadvertently, what they've done, they've given me, they keep knocking me back. So they, I'm going to parole him. Mr. Brown, they've been knocking me back. But what I can, I kept laughing. So when they're knocking me back, I'm going, mah, 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 because I knew what they wanted. For sure. You see? And For sure. in the end, they brought, they, they brought a psychologist in. And the psychologist, it was their psychologist. Some people asked me, and he 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 was he was going for my release. But when I got released, when I was going for my release, what happened was the parole board was still saying, "Well, so you're back, 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 you're how sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How right, right, right. sad. Go on. So anyway, right, Crash, how's your fault? Leave off that. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm <laughs> saying. Eat your chop. Excuse me. <laughs> You'll not believe. I swear to God, yeah. He thinks Listen. because he's brought me a bowl of chocolate. You would not believe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, you would not believe what's on my table down in my coffee table, yeah? There's about <laughs> 10 packets of crisps, cakes, and all chocolates and Coca Colas. That's what we. And I, and I have not had none. That's what we. Yeah, and I have not had none of these. Go on anyway. So anyway, yeah. Crash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. So Crash has your father. Yeah. In the early, they get some information. My, 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 they give me a psychologist. The psychologist came in, and he asked for my release. But they still were saying, "Isn't there anything else that Mister Fish could do?" But the headache was, I knew what the probation, why they were holding me back, but the psychologist didn't. And so what happened was, he was saying, well, what do you want from Mr. Fish? Are you trying to institutionalise him? Are you trying to, what are you trying to do to him? And in the end, they had to come clean and they said, Mr. Fish? I said, yeah. They said, why is it? I went, yeah. <laughs> so got, You've been so in... He's got a psychologist. <laughs> Don't be fucking mad. Don't be mad. Get you a... Oh, sorry, yeah. keep swearing. They said, they said, why? Don't be mad. You ain't never going to get this out of people. You this way. Oh, my so they said, why is it you've been in prison ten and a half years and you've only ever used a prison phone once or twice? And I said, because I write letters. Yeah? And then, so, what they actually done, because I knew what they wanted, even though I'd done ten and a half years behind the door in prison, it really only felt like five and a half years because I was having a bat on a challenge, whereas most people don't. So true, for me, true, it true. was, uh, for, yeah. So for me, it was, uh, you know, it was, it, you know, it helped me not so. I'll but, tell you what I want to find yeah. out. Yeah. I, I, so, why is it, yeah, yeah, that people, when they do courses, yeah, yeah, when they've got to do courses in as an IPP, yeah, yeah, why is it that they have to wait maybe three years, maybe four years to do that course? Don't well, Don't it, it, wait, 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 wait. I mean, you see, the problem with Ray is he's not really up to date. I mean, you have to understand that he is right. Don't get me wrong. One hundred percent right. In the beginning, it was like that because, as I told you, nobody understood or knew what the sentence was about. So the IPP sentence, um, people were having to wait to go on courses. Like me, I mean, I was sentenced in two thousand and six. Uh, done all my courses by 2008 but didn't get released until 2016 and trying to tell me yeah you know that I had to do CSCP and the CSP said I didn't and then they would say and then you know they were just throwing her in courses I mean I, I, I'm really I, I mean I'm, I'm surprised I even got out I mean everyone says to me I don't know if it said to you right but solicitors say to me and, then, and how did you get out yeah you know, when you see people, and they, you tell me you're an IPP, they all ask the same question. It kind of confuses me, really. They always say, how did you get out? How how come you got out? It's it's a massive... People can't believe IPP prisoners have actually got out. And I got out because I grassed up right. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I thought I'd done you fish. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's Andy. That's Andy. <laughs> it's Andy. It's Andy. It's Andy. It's Andy. No, but... We, 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 we are making light of it, but this is a serious... Um, there are lots and lots of people remaining in prison for petty offences. Because they won't do the courses, right? right. No, they no, won't no, do no, the courses. No, it's not all about not doing the courses. You see, Ray, Ray is in some... Ray's right in some way. See, yes, 
part of it is because some people don't want to be the crook. But the other part is some people, they're not proper villains. They're Do you know not, what? Do you know what? Let me say this. 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 We, we, we took on society. These people are just people that made a mistake. Yeah, that made a mistake. And so what's yeah, happening right. with them, they're getting these long sentences, but it, it's doing them mentally, causing them mentally. And they're doing things wrong in prison. The parole board are holding it against them. And now they've given up. They, they're they not like me and Ray, where we've got friends to come out and family to come out. These people feel like they've lost their kids. I mean, you've got to remember, some people got kids, they've now lost them. they moved on. The wife yeah, and the sure. Some people got families and it, it's moved on. You understand? So now they feel like, I mean, me and Ray, we went away and we come out after ten and a half years, right after five, is it five? But <laughs> five fucking years. How many did you do? I've done, uh, eight. eight. So Ray eight, came out eight, after eight, yeah. Eight, 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 we had the balls. Five? It sounded like five. You were, yeah. you were crying at five. <laughs> <laughs> he was crying every time I went with his cell. Yeah. About it. But what I'm trying to oh, tell God. you is, what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, people, you know, it's all right us laughing and joking. We're trying to mask over the hurt and the pain that we really went through here. But there are people still languishing and it's unfair the sentence has been abolished and yet they're still there and the government have now swept it under the carpet as if to say there's nothing to do me and fish yeah me and fish have got it retrospectively we've got it that's it we've got they, it's not going to change we've got that sentence and, and, and that's it yeah there's no way that, that that we can change that we've got it forever forever for 99 years well, fish no, but, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, but what we're trying to do, look, look, we we'll, we'll be honest with you, we're trying to. Uh, there's a uh, lot, uh, a lot of people in mm. prison. Don't get me wrong, I'm not. We can't get the serious. We're not asking the government to, you know, look at all the A cats and serial serious offenders right now. All we're asking is they recategorize them so some of exactly. the some of the low risk. Uh, C cat, D cat, B and Bs can have a chance of being released. That's what. And also another biggest problem, massive problem with the parole board, with, with the IPP sentence of 99 years, is the government have asked the parole board to take charge in overseeing an IPP prisoner's release. Well, what that has done, it's raised the bar too high for many of the IPP yeah, prisoners sure. that are not really life sentence prisoners so you got to remember the parole board are used to dealing with murderers serial killers rapists that the wreck yeah and now they're applying it to an ipp who's who one of them who just punched his dad in the face once and dad called the old police and now wishes he never done it yeah. i mean it's ridiculous you know and so the problem is could the parole board are so used to doing hard with hard and tell me something does it, does it, is it is it is it is it to do with the parole board, because you get certain, you get certain um, people to go to prison, yeah. Yeah. Certain people to go to prison don't get IPPs. They live maybe in a different area. And certain people who live in that, that area, they get IPPs. No, no, no. What, what I'm trying, no, no, no. It's not. How's it, how's it work? No, everyone got IPPs. I mean, because it's all over the country. Yeah, for sure. We know what, that. But yeah. what I'm saying to you, yeah. for, the, for 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 duration. What's the duration? Right? For duration, some get a two two year IPP. And Some get a twenty-three day. Exactly. Yeah. Sixteen no, years. That's later. just. That's just. That is just. How can someone be sixteen years later for nicking a mobile yeah, phone? But, but because they didn't, as I keep trying to tell you, this sentence, which their government are admitting it right now, this sentence was totally misunderstood by the judiciary system. It, you know, and you know, they brought it in, implemented it without without working on any of it. And this is why I say to it looked like it was just an onslaught on the working class, another onslaught. And someone said something to me the other day, and I had to laugh and think, well, is it true? Someone said to me, do you know what, Fish, when you think of what Tony Blair said, that he's going to make Britain one class, and then when you, and it was middle class, and then you look at what he'd done to the working class, so he took all their dads, brought out the IPP sentence and took all their dads away. And then he took the youth clubs and everything else away. And now our kids are killing each other. He said, you know what, Fish? It's as if we've gone into another country and we've done the same old trick. 
we've conquered, split and divide, and let them kill each other. And it's that's my mate said to me that that is what it looks like they've done now. Took the police officers off the street, shut down the police yeah, stations, for sure. For sure. and now all our kids are killing each other. So it's like they're getting the uh, working class kids to make themselves extinct. You know, I mean, I don't know. This is what someone said to me. But with the IPP sentence and immunization, what we're trying to tell you is there are a lot of people in this country, uh, you know, I don't know, 10,000 maybe still. We could be wrong because people are going to throw statistics. You think it's frightening? Yeah, but people are going to throw statistics and figures at us. But we can get it if we have to. But we're just coming on today. Do you think uh, the IPP is a fighting sentence? Yes or no? You see, the, 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 the IPP, it is, a, well, you see, the problem with the IPP, it, 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 for some people, it isn't for some, I mean, here's the headache. Look, the IPP sentence was brought in and they said there was public protection, but it doesn't protect the public. It puts the public in more danger now. And the reason it puts it in more danger now is because an IPP burden prisoner now, he doesn't shout anymore like he used to. He doesn't make the noises and make the big um, threats like he used to. He can't make a threat. He can't shout no more. Yeah, sure. Because if he does, he's recalled. So he just stays silent. And that's the problem with the sentence now. He stays silent until he has to go crash. And he just does it now. There's no warning. There's no signals. There's a build-up, so, isn't it? Yeah, no, but the, the, what I'm saying is there's a build-up. But the build-up is silent. Mm. Before you were at IPP, you could have warned someone you were coming. You could have warned someone you were saying, and this is it now. Now, silence has become your friend. And, you know, it, 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 I did say that in, uh, to, uh, in, in, in the... Uh, I said, you know, they've moved the goalpost now. It hasn't put the public... It hasn't protected the public in any way, shape or form. If anything, it's put the public in more danger, you know? And, but the main thing is here, the main thing is here, what we're... Really, the sentence and the way they're treating these prisoners on the sentence and keeping them inside, they are now creating psychopaths. For sure. They are now creating people that hate the society. That's what you don't realise, these people. They think they are, they're going to be broken, they're going to keep them in there, yeah? But when your kid gets hurt, when your missus gets hurt, when your husband gets hurt by one of these IPPs that have been burned, who are the parole board? Who are the uh, government? Who are all the police? Who are they all going to blame? That's the issue here. Yeah? We need to start getting these IPPs, the local, the ones who are not of the serial work. The, the well, serious that's dangerous, right? We need to get them out. You can't tell me and Ray, yeah, that you're giving us a sentence, okay, that doesn't warrant a life that you're giving a sentence for a crime that doesn't warrant a life sentence and then give us a sentence that is bigger than a life sentence <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah i mean you know you know i i i, I mean for me i'm laughing because for me it, you know i i understood and i was lucky i was I, I was lucky enough to have the common sense in to how to deal with the sentence and how to adhere to the sentence and, 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 and make it my own, you know, and, and I lived happy. And, 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 and You've got to remember, he's a public school boy, yeah? I'm not public, it doesn't matter whether you're... Public school boy, he's quite educated. You it know doesn't matter whether you're educated. It makes a lot of difference if you're quite educated. It doesn't make a I lot of so. difference. I, I don't think it does. I'm still black. Yeah, no, no, I still no. had racism. I'm yeah, still... But, no, but you're I'm, still a public like, school boy. Stop, I'm still gay. I still have racism from gay. religion. You keep telling people who's gay. I, you ain't gay. I, I, I have... I have well, a little bit. I have my. Uh, <laughs> I, we're still <laughs> we're still hated by religions. Yeah, for sure. We're still hated by religions. We're hated by African nations, mate. Don't please. I get it all thrown at me. And people talk to me as I turn my back. A fucking poor fucking man. Cool. Shit out, mate. Well, I care. You know, for me, I told you. I told you before I came into this game. I tried to die or do a hundred years. So when all these people slag me and write me and all that, I look at these people and I think, mate, you're not listening to me. I tried to die or do 100 years, it don't faze me. I'm doing 99 years, not 10, not 20, not 30, not 50, 99 years. That's what I'm serving now. We're both sitting here only because they are allowing us to sit here. We're on life license. We can't say boo. We can't do fuck all. We can, but it has to be done with tact in a certain way. 
But what I'm trying to today, we need to understand. Look, look. Do we want to be parole board and government? Do we want to Ray? Fuck off. <laughs> No, I know what you're saying. But there are a lot of youngsters, yeah. youngsters in there that shouldn't be in there. Yes, exactly. 